In this lesson, we will be looking at some practical applications of Pythagoras' theorem. Now, the first one, we are looking at when a ladder is resting on the wall. We know the distance of the base of the ladder to the wall and the top of the ladder on the wall. Now, reading the question, if the foot of a ladder is placed 6 meters from a wall, so therefore, that is actually 6 meters, and if the top of the ladder rests 8 meters, 8 meters on the wall, how long is the ladder? Now, we know that this should be actually a right angle. The wall, uh, the angle of the wall and the floor is right angle. Therefore, we can use, use Pythagoras. So let's say the length of the ladder is L. So L, therefore, equals square root of 6 squared plus 8 squared. Equals the square root of 36 plus 64. Square root of 100, which is 10 meters. Again, looking at this, you should recognize that is one of the Pythagoras' triple. 6, 8, and 10. Next question. John leaves school to go home. He walks 1.2 kilometers north and then 3.6 kilometers east. How far is John's home from the school to the nearest meter? Now, we know that traveling north and then east, this is actually a right angle. Therefore, again, this is a Pythagoras' theorem problem. X kilometers is actually 1.2 square, square root of 1.2 square plus 3.6 square. So x equals the square root of 1.2 square plus 3.6 square. And that is 3.7947 kilometers. But we need to know to the nearest meters. We know 1 kilometers is 1,000 meters. Therefore, to the nearest meters is 3.795 kilometers, three decimal places. Remember, one kilometers equals 1,000 meters. All right, finally, the last example. Scott wants to swim across a river that is 400 meters wide. He begins swimming perpendicular to the shore. He started from but ends up 100 meters down river from where he started because of the current. How far did he actually swim from this point? Again, we know that this is 90 degrees. Therefore, the distance he swam, let's call it D, meters. D is actually square root of 400 square plus 100 square, which is equals to 412.3 meters. Since there is no uh, mention of decimal places. In fact, the good approximation, because we are only we are not given any decimal place, will be 412 meters. All right, this is some practical example of using um, Pythagoras' theorem. Please, after this lesson, do some exercises that I've assigned. Thank you.